I'm Senior Team Leader Joseph Garcia. I'm the Senior Team Leader for the Special Applications Unit. We are a high-risk mitigation correction special operations unit. Basically, hostage rescue, major riots, um, movement of a high-risk or high-valued inmate anywhere in the United States that an agency needs assistance with, they'll call us. You know, one of the main reasons why uh, I get this question asked all the time about the Caltech KSG. And, um, you know, I used to use the Mossberg uh, 590. I've used the Remington 870s. And you know what? Those are great workhorses for shotguns. But in our industry, when we go into a housing, we're what they call small team tactics based. So if we're going into a riot with 100, 200 inmates, chances are you're probably maybe looking at a small group of us. And so when you do that, you've got to be able to have a weapon that has the capability of being able to supply what we say violence downrange, okay, especially if we go direct action. And the, the KSG, uh, seven years ago, when we went with the KSG, we went for a number of reasons. One, size, compact, that's 26.1 inches. Number two, it has two magazine tubes, which gives me seven rounds each with one in the chamber is 15, okay? So that's amazing. However, the capacity, the versatility, so I have a select lever, and unlike a Mossberg or a Remington, great weapons again, the KSG, the Caltech KSG, gives me the ability to be able, on the fly, to be able to change the versatility of rounds. So if I'm going into a house and I need to clear, I need to breach a, a door, I can hit it by using, on the left magazine tube, I can go ahead and use breaching rounds, and on the right magazine tube, I just flick it real quick, eject a round out of it, and then go into a direct action capacity. What people don't realize is, on a shotgun, with the proper rounds, inside of a clearing environment using lethal, this is a very good weapon that will knock anybody down who's wearing body armor. Inside of a corrections environment, because my distance of my inmates are running uh, throughout the housing unit, okay, somewhere in some cases 180 feet, you know, 200 feet downrange, or as close as what we call, you know, in your face, I've got to be able to switch on the fly, and the Caltech case, she gives me that. The balance of the shotgun, if you look at any other weapon out there, okay, with the, with the Remington and with the, um, the, the Mossbergs, they're nice shotguns, but look at the balance. So I can use this weapon in multiple ways. It's a bullpup system, so the rounds are, are coming out. And these are just some of the wonderful reasons why we transition. So for us, it's about economy, about time, about space, and motion. And so again, as our warriors develop, as our, as our fighters develop, so does the technology. And you know, when it comes to weapons, everybody has a personality. But this is mission essential for us because it gives us the four food groups that we need. Compactness, capacity, versatility in rounds, but most of all, the user friendliness. Besides the Caltech KSG, um, we have a couple of other weapons that we're running. So if we're running the RDB, we run the RDB, again, 26.1 inches overall length. It's an excellent weapon, it's a bullpup system. It allows me with a 17.5 inch barrel to be able to go close quarters or step outside and go long distance. For high risk inmate transport, this is great. This is set up for us to go both sides of, that, uh, of, the, uh, of the house, so whether we're in CQB or whether we're distance, we got our Vortex Optic Razor HD here so we can go one to six. And uh, so these are just some of the things that we do. For us, again, it's about economy, time, space, and motion as an operator. I've gotta be able to have the flexibility of picking the right technology, what we call MEK, M-E-K as Mission Essential Kit for us. One of the things that I'm really excited about, and, and I'll tell guys this all the time, I don't shoot for competition. Um, when our guys deploy, we do it in real time, real time missions. I don't go into the combat box or the sandbox. There are a lot of guys in the military who do that on a regular basis. And so they have different missions with the types of, of uh, rounds, the types of equipment that they're using. And so their weapons are set up for those environments. So as we're looking at, for us, the 5.56 or 300 Blackout, we found the company, Blackbird. And uh, here's the great surprise for us for 2020. In 2020, we're gonna be adopting, after a lot of testing, okay, is the new Bantam SP. American made, the innovation's amazing. They're using aerospace technology. And when you start using high-end metals, high-end grade technology, precision-based type of design on a weapon, for example, that I can go from what we call CQB to going in and extending, you know, you'd be surprised. So one of the, the other features that we really like about this is that 
We have a five and a half inch barrel. You add a four inch uh, suppressor on it, you know, you have nine inches roughly, okay? So the overall length of this weapon right now collapsed down, you're under 21 inches. Can't beat that for us. High risk inmate transport, where we call for us, and believe it or not, as we're moving through the woods, sometimes we have to navigate over the terrain. We gotta be able to go from what we call just under 21 inches. If I need to extend this and come out, you know, it's because I see my target, I'm here. When we're doing tracking, fugitive recovery, it's not that I need a long range weapon, because that's why I have helos, that's why I have spotters, and I, I've got snipers, okay, working. I want, I've gotta be able to go. It's almost like a CQB environment, okay, so for us. So when I collapse this, okay, no matter where I'm at, I can stow this weapon, the versatility of putting it wherever I need to, compactness, low signature, and that's the big thing. In today's political climate that we see, I've gotta be able to take this weapon, collapse it down as quickly as possible, take it into a bag or underneath my coat, or even if I, I, I'm in public, this is just a low profile. It's a low profile where it's not intimidating, but it does a lot of intimidating work. And, and that really becomes the, the, the big premise for us. Now, everybody can get into, well, what about putting it in mud or the temperatures? If you think a company like this puts out a weapon utilizing the finest metals, the finest precision and design, American-made technology experienced by some of the top guys in soft community, and just to put a weapon out there that can't pass the, what we call the basic test, right? All those thermal tests, all the sand, the grip, the wind, all, anything you want to put it in besides putting it in a pool with Orca the Whale, okay? Um, this is the company that uses that as the standard for their minimal standards, and then they take it from there. That's why they've gone to the best minds to help them create every functioning process. Like for example, I take this out, whether I use a suppressed or unsuppressed, whether it's a, 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 for any threaded or non-threaded, I come out, I use subsonic or supersonic, guess what? I don't have to change anything with the, the, the gas tube on this beast. I go here, pull this beast out, and I go right to work. That quick, that simple. I need to stow and go, I stow this bad boy, and, and I'm gone. So I need to put this down, and I stow it and I go. And we're there. Political correctness with a little bit of daddy spanking. So it's a great question that you ask about our lights. So um, eight years ago, nine years ago, a company by the name of Core Survival contacted us and uh, talked about lights because they saw us using some kind of marking light. We were using glow sticks on our dog. For us, inside of a corrections environment, it's all about safety through visualization. So with all the weapons that we use, everything for us has got to be user friendliness. And there's a reason why we do it. So with our canines, we had an, an accident where almost one of our, our canines was almost shot by an operator. And uh, at the end of the debrief, what happened? We didn't see the dog come through. Huh, hmm, interesting. So we were sent these lights, and uh, with these lights, when we originally started using them, uh, we used them just like this. And uh, the manufacturer called us and said, hey, uh, the base should be at the bottom, and then the light should be at the top. So basically, it should have been like this. And that, that's how you properly put them on. I said, oh, okay, that's great, that's nice. Thanks for the info, I appreciate it. So we went ahead and continued to go this route here for one reason. I'm not halo jumping, so I don't need anybody to see the top of my head. So as my guys move in, okay, inside of a corrections environment, I wanted the cameras to see, because everything is usually in color, so they know, in command post, red team's coming through uh, door number one, or breach one, breach two, I've got you know green team coming in, or red team coming in. So again, it was visualization. So for us, we use blue for uh, the team leader, and then it's gonna be red team or green team, okay, or vice versa. And then with our dogs, again, for the handler, the dog's green, we match them, we sync them, and so that anybody can see them. So we're following the light technology and what people are doing now. And so there's a company called Guardian Angel, and they have this light on here, okay? And so with them, they can go through strobes, multiple different colors. It's easy on the detachable side. So it's a, like, like a 30 pound magnet. It goes on the shoulder, okay, any shoulder there they want. They've got a little light uh, position here. So if I have to turn on my front lights, Okay, I can turn on my front lights and then click it very, very quickly right there and we're ready to go. And so the, that's the kind of technology that's out there. So but for us, again, it, it really goes down to it. What makes us very unique, what makes us special in what we do is that we follow and we are constantly looking at technology that doesn't look sexy, but actually has a reason um, and helps us, again, say economy of time, space and motion, make me a better operator. And uh, one or two things are okay, but it has to be a major um, breakthrough in technology and in innovation and in design 
because when we're in a fight, no matter what it is, it's important that, that everything is, for us, makes us more efficient as operators and as war fighters out there. And so for our guys who are, um, for what we call our designated marksman operators who are out there, we've got the Snipe, which is a 6.5 Grendel. Okay, try saying that three times real fast, like Hansel and Gretel, but Grendel, okay? We use that for rooftop operations, fusion recovery, and long distance operations. So again, our versatility in our weapon side of the house is very versatile. We can go from the bullpup platform, like the Caltech KSGs, the RDBs, mission is central for us, and then we can easily flip and go into when we need a, a, a traditional platform for the AR side of the house, we're right now relying on the Blackbird to take us to that next level in the next generation for us in our fighting. Versatility, both companies, innovation, I mean just pure superiority when it comes to materials and design and craftsmanship. I'm Senior Team Leader Garcia, and don't forget to tip your Chaz waiters out there.